We got first up. We've got Thor versus the Hood. My initial thoughts here is that Thor would easily be able to at least get Hood's power half. If I could stack maybe two or three armor breaks and get an L2 in, be able to get his power half. Um, might not be able to kill him. I should be able to kill him, but I would need to evade um, his his specials very well. Um, his L1 is easily evadable, but you have to really be on the other side of the screen to uh, to not get hit by it, because the hood deals quite a bit of damage regardless of whether he gets you or you're blocking unless you have a very good naturally block proficient champion um, I'm doing okay so far it's lagging ugh yeah the lag got me there <laughs> it's lagging a bit too much there um, so yeah um, I was going to initially try it with Cap, my OG Cap. He was the first four star that I ever got in in the game. I got it from completing Act Three, one hundred percent, beating Thanos. Um, so I'm pretty attached to him. He's probably like number ten in my strongest champs right now, but he's still very useful. So obviously, his science and the hood is mystic so there's a bit of a class bonus there but my thinking with having him next is he can actually solo this because not solo because Thor already took a fair chunk you know what I mean um, he can beat him from here on because of his block proficiency um, his block proficiency is very strong and I've got a sneaky suspicion that when the hood does a special that he's going to be able to almost nullify the damage let's check Okay, I actually evaded there out of habit. Since the block proficiency teams are gone, it's just an automatic thing to try to get out of the way. And then when I play with Cap, I need to remind myself that he's actually very good with blocking. There we go. He hardly scratched me with that L1. But I think the, the trick would be to try to get an L2 from the hood to try to see if it... Because I, I, I was playing this yesterday. Um, with magic and people like that. Magic is probably going to be the champion that I use to easily 100% the hood and Dormammu and I'll probably load a video of, of that as well but check that out. He hardly got any damage f uh, from that L2. The champions that I was playing with yesterday they got mood so hard with that L2 while blocking. I took half the power away and all of the champions that I'm playing with in Master are R4 champions except for magic that's R5 so it's not like they okay i'm just taking a breather my fingers are a bit tired yeah it's not like they um are weak champions or have weak health they're quite um decent champions for master um ah oh, that is so cool he's hardly touching me with <laughs> those special so i'm definitely gonna keep cap in my team for fighting the hood quests um he won't be as useful against Dormammu because of Dormammu's power gain. Um, I struggled a bit with Dormammu yesterday, even with magic. Um, I have a Ronin. I completed the Realm of Legends the other day. <coughs> but I have a 4-star Ronin. I'm going to try the Ronin trick that Seaton suggested, but I first need to rank up my 4-star Ronin a bit. Because I only finished the Realm of Legends like two weeks ago. So my Cyclops and Rhino and Ronan aren't really ranked up. And Bob's your auntie. So Captain America really does well. He's probably not the most used champ. He's not a god tier champ. But he does the business. Duty calls. 